my head is literally going insane. I don't have a great nutritious breakfast every morning. What you need to do next to get to where you want to be. That's exactly what we're doing in this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Maya. In this video, we're going to be doing an extreme mid-year reset. I don't know about you guys, but in the beginning of this year, I was on top of myself, making sure I was keeping track of everything that I wanted to accomplish this year. And somewhere along the way, I completely lost track. And now it is time to reset and get ourselves back on track for the rest of the Year. Since the beginning of this month, I've been working on cleaning my space, my room, my bathroom, and my car. That was a whole mess. I'll let you guys see that when the time comes. And of course, I didn't forget about you guys. I also brought you guys along with me. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to that part of the video. I am literally so deeply annoyed and cannot stand my room right now. I'm actually even a little bit embarrassed to show you guys because it is that bad. I have my boyfriend's bags and then my bags. My head is literally going insane. All of my emotions are like running around in there and you're like ah you know i'm gonna go ahead and tackle my sheets first because those take the longest i don't know if you guys can see all the hair that stormy left behind while she was sleeping on my bed while i was gone and this is why i always need to wash my sheets by the time i get home <laughs> Pretty much finished wiping down all of my surfaces like my vanity and my dresser i also managed to put away all of the clutter that was just taking up so much space on them now i just need to figure out how to tackle this craziness right here beside me which is all of the laundry that i forgot to put away before my vacation and then my unpacking and also all of my bags that i have to put away it sounds like a lot but it's not that much i'm hoping It is the next day in our mid-year reset. I'm quickly going to get ready. I ended up finishing cleaning my room and my bathroom and get most of the clutter and organization out of the way. The things that I want to try and get done today is clean underneath my bed just because I have a cat and she sheds a lot and she loves to hide down there. I do want to clean my vanity drawers just because they accumulate dust over time. Enough of me yapping. Let's get some work in. Now I'm on to my next task, which is cleaning my car. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is all bird crap. <laughs> the birds just wanted to give me some good luck. So I'm not complaining, but it's time to go because I can't see out of my windshield. I definitely feel a reset happening here just because I deep clean my room, I deep clean my bathroom and my car. I definitely feel like a brand new person on the outside, but I don't feel like a brand new person on the inside. And it's time to do some self care. I haven't washed my hair in like four days. And let me tell you, it definitely feels like it's been two weeks. I'm really looking forward to pampering myself and enjoying my time in my clean environment. The first thing that consists of is taking an everything shower. And if you know, then you know that includes everything. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower and I'll see you guys after. All right, so we're out of the shower now. I feel like a million bucks. I feel so brand new and now I just need to wash off this makeup. First things first, I'm gonna be using the micellar water to remove my makeup. I love to leave my bathroom window open while I shower. It takes out all the humidity in my bathroom and also when I get out of the shower, it's so refreshing. Now I just like to use these little towelettes from the Clean Skin Club on Amazon. I've been loving these paper towels. Even though they may not seem super necessary, I feel like these have been a staple in my skincare routine ever since I got them. I normally do my skincare after washing my face, but since we're going to be putting on face masks, I'm going to put a pause on that and do my body care first and then move on to skincare. On my shaving days, I like to use both of these to moisturize. They be later i have to set the vibe so i'm gonna turn on a candle so. 
this right here let it burn is it just me or when i do this full body routine i just get so tired like i feel like it takes so long I want to make sure they're sitting perfectly under my eyes before I start with my face mask. These are the brightening eye patches from Pixi, by the way. And then I'm going to be using this Mary Kay pink clay mask. I took this for my mother. I do not know any further details. I used to have a little spatula for my face masks, but I have no idea where I put it. So we're going to just use our fingers today. I really love how this face mask sits on my face. I feel like that one snapchat filter from like i think it was like 2017 i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about i love life i love doing self-care i love you oh i just love doing self-care it makes me love myself so much even though i look so silly i feel like i look so cute i've had this face mask on for quite some time now i can barely move my lips i really love this face mask because i could really see it taking out everything like this right here was a pimple and i don't know if you guys can see that you can see all of the pores on my skin coming out onto the mask and it doesn't look ugly either you know what i mean everybody's imperfect and we have to embrace that i don't know if it's a clean mask i just know that it does the job for me and I love her. This is like the first one that I grab all the time. I think it's about time I remove this mask. I left it on for about 10 minutes already. Let's go ahead and take it off and get into our PJs. I just grabbed one of those towels that I was using earlier to dry my face and I just rinsed it into warm water and I have it in a ball so I could stay warm. I also brought in my little face steamer and now I'm going to let my face sit in it a little bit so I don't irritate my skin too much. Oh, this looks so good. It just turned into like a really nice glowy pink. Now I'm going in with my micellar water to remove any excess mask that I left behind and didn't catch with the rag. That mask was very drying, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with some moisturizing skincare. For my under eyes, I'm going to be going in with the Coco Kine Revitalizing Eye Cream. This is in my everyday skincare routine. I never fail to use it. It is a discoloration correcting serum. Last but not least, I'm going to be going in with the Coco Kine Soothing Texture Cream. I really love that this has a nice applicator. It just feels so soothing every time I put it on. Something that I never skip to do is brush my eyebrows just because it's just something I always have to do. If you know, you know. I feel like my eyebrows are always misplaced, so I have to brush them down. Now it's time to situate this mess. I always do my hair last because I feel like I can't get all of my hair products onto my face. I just feel so icky when I do that. I don't know why. My go-to leave-in conditioner for my curly hair is the classic leave-in conditioner by As I Am. I love everything about this. This just is the perfect consistency. It's lightweight, never weighs down my curls, and also smells amazing. I always get so much hair on my hands. It's so crazy. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this robe and put on my PJs. I'm going to be going in with this cute pink nightgown, which is my favorite to sleep in. She is so comfy.
you guys, I recently went to do groceries. Normally, I pick up the Jade Leaf Matcha Latte. I don't know if this looks familiar to you guys, but this is my go-to everyday matcha that I just grab. I don't know how this has never caught my eye, but I also found this one, which is vanilla. And since I already know what this one tastes like, we're gonna go ahead and taste test the vanilla one. I know in my last video, I said I don't mix my matcha with water, which I don't, but I wanna try it this time. One thing that I forgot to mention is that I've never tried it with water. Why does it look like that when I went straight by the measurements? Pretty good, very milky though. Now I know to not go by the measurements though. All right, guys, here is my breakfast. I made some avocado toast on this different bread that I've never tried. So we're going to be taste testing that today with some everything bagel seasoning, fried egg, and then some blueberries because I've been trying to eat more fruit in the morning. Fresh fruit in the morning makes me feel so energized. So I've definitely been trying to incorporate that in my breakfast. Let's taste this as bread. I really hope I like it because it has seven grams of protein for these tiny little slices. They're actually pretty good. I give it like a five, six out of 10. It is July 4th today and we are officially on our fourth day of this reset. And I honestly thought it was gonna just take me one day. I didn't wanna overstimulate myself and yet I still wanted to get a lot done. I realized that I couldn't fit it all in one day because I didn't have a structured routine. I've been really trying to maintain a good routine and I've been really trying to wake up early in the morning, which I have. So last night I took it into my own hands and created my to-do list for today. I would say I have quite a few things on here. The first thing is don't get on your phone first hour of waking up or till you leave for the gym which I did do immediately after I woke up I wanted to take a cold shower it is so difficult but I still did it I ended up taking a cold shower this morning and it felt really good I was so exhausted this morning that cold shower definitely did help me so I can go ahead and check that off my list as you guys can tell, I wrote drink water on my to-do list about three times on here. And it's so I don't forget to drink water because I keep forgetting to drink water. I definitely want to keep my body hydrated because it's so important. I mean, it's just drink water, but it really does make a difference. When you're hydrated with the right fluids, you get really good energy throughout the day. And also fueling your body with the proper nutrition. A good meal every meal time is so good for you. Over the span of this year and last year and me being in and out of the gym, I realized how important food is to me and how much energy it gives my body and when I actually do put in the effort to eat something healthy for me and my body my body really does thank me for it every single day with that being said I can also cross off get ready for the gym and eat breakfast because I already got dressed mind you I did change the gray headband to the red one because my boyfriend said it matches my shoes better the next things that I have on my list I still have yet to do we have take daily vitamins read a book five minute journal drink water go to the gym get ready for the day finish filming mid-year reset and drink more water for my daily vitamins I like to use the ollie woman's multivitamins I just wanted multivitamins for women basic didn't want anything too fancy this is all I do. We're just gonna go ahead and take our two daily vitamins. When I was picking out vitamins, I really just wanted the ones that looked more appetizing because if you think I'm gonna eat gummies that I do not like every day, you're funny. We hit the middle of the year and I still haven't been putting as much effort as I would like to into more educational reading. Ever since I started reading books, I've realized how much of an impact it has on my day-to-day -day life. I know you guys have seen this everywhere, Atomic Habits. I just started reading it. I'm 20 pages in and so far... From just reading this little bit, I feel like it's so different than other self-help books and habit books. Other books that are about improving your habits have been so boring to me and I feel like I dread reading it and I find myself literally forcing my eyes to like read the words. And this one is just such an easy read. I feel like he made it really interesting. And this book is to start small. You don't have to do anything really big during a day. And I a thousand percent agree that you really don't have to do much to start new habits. I'll be honest with you. 
I don't have a great nutritious breakfast every morning, but I decided to make one today because I want to try and build the habit of creating a nice nutritional breakfast for myself every morning that'll give me energy and that my body will thank me for. I also want to make the habit of drinking more water. Eli, I clipped her. Oh my god. Props to me if I make it out this video silently. <laughs> Baby, I literally said, look. And does it again. <laughs> now we're on day four, the final day. Even though it took me four days, I wanted to make sure I took my time cleaning my space and also refreshing myself with time just because I didn't want to feel burnt out or feel like it was a forceful thing I had to do. And now that we're here, I am very excited and happy to be sharing with you guys some tips and tricks I like to use to help me reset and get myself back on track for the rest of the year. I actually took the time and wrote down everything that I wanted to share with you guys in this video some of the topics that i have in my notes tab is how to work towards and execute your goals how to stay disciplined why should we be reading self-help books yes i said it there we should be reading more self-help books benefits in being in a clean environment and the importance of consistency and small habits i'm warning you guys this portion of the video is probably going to be the longest and i don't want to bore you guys with it so i'm going to be setting up some chapters down in my description so then that way you guys can go ahead and click on whichever topic you would like to hear more about or even if you just want to click around this video just go ahead and click on the chapters without further ado i'm gonna stop talking and just get into it how to work towards and execute your goals literally the first thing i wrote down was set reasonable goals you know you can accomplish within a six month time frame i feel like a lot of us could get so sidetracked on how long something is going to take us to accomplish i feel like it may seem so easy to accomplish something within a year or six month time frame but it's honestly not that long you have to make sure that you have the time the energy effort discipline and productivity to be able to accomplish the goal that you set we also don't want to burn ourselves out or disappoint ourselves by the end of the year if you really can't do it don't set it just think about how you can set small little goals to work towards that big goal make small steps every day to help you work towards the goals you set little things turn into big things and when you start doing something small every day it's gonna come back to you in something bigger stay disciplined staying disciplined is key to achieving your goals if you just make a vision board and expect it to happen by the end of the year sorry if you don't want to hear this but you're wrong even though it might feel a little dragging to do the little things to work up to that big goal it feels so rewarding when it comes back to you the way that you wanted it to keep track of your progress to evaluate what comes next and not discourage yourself i feel like if we don't keep track we will get discouraged i personally love to journal or i even look back to some old photos when i first started and i could see how far i've come it honestly truly motivates me to see how far i've gotten and i want to keep going to see how far i could get and what my potential is I also think evaluating what comes next helps you open your mind to see how much you already done and what you need to do next to get to where you want to be and that's exactly what we're doing in this video is we're reevaluating everything that we've done in the past six months and what we want to do for the next six discipline is key to achieving everything you want in life you won't always get what you want if you're just sitting around waiting for it to come i even have it on my vision board it's a little quote that says dream for success but the dream is crossed out and it says work the whole point is to work for success not just dream for it and because we're working towards success we need to stay disciplined i like to try and make my discipline a little bit more fun and change it up a little bit instead of making it feel like a chore i also like to incorporate things that uplift my energy and make me actually want to do what i'm trying to stay disciplined on i'm sure you guys have heard this before but get into a nice outfit do your makeup do your hair get cute for a day and no one cares do your makeup to go to the gym i swear no one cares i've done it multiple times if that's gonna make you feel better and make you go then do it i also like to make sure i have a good balanced breakfast that always gives me some good energy throughout the day and it also makes me feel good and accomplished right at the beginning of my day also music for me music will always get me out of my bed and always has me wanting to do something afterwards and really anything that you know that'll get you out of bed even if it's to watch your face do it any environment that you know will help you read that book or get that work done go many people do it every day and it's to stay productive if you go somewhere to do something you're gonna end up doing it because why did you go to this place for no reason you know what i'm saying and lastly i promise you you might not want to do it now but in the end you're gonna be thanking yourself and you're gonna feel so grateful that you stay disciplined why should we read self-help books i don't know you tell me while filming this video i actually went and bought atomic habits because i've been wanting to buy it for so long within reading just the first 20 pages i'm already hooked and motivated 
to create healthy habits for myself. It also helps you improve and expand your form of speech. I've seen it work for me countless times in the way I go on about my days, how I write in my journal, how I talk to myself. If you read a book and open your eyes throughout the day and see how much it changes you. For me, reading books honestly is such a joy just because I love to see the changes it makes in my days. I love to see myself change and evolve into the person that I want to be. It targets personal growth and helps you understand yourself better. And it also pushes you to reach your highest potentials. And to be honest, it kind of forces you to examine the things that you do and how it affects your day-to-day -day life. I also put down, they carry information to help you exercise, practice strategies learned by professionals to help make improvements in your life. Which is so true in a lot of these self-help books. They also interview people who have gone through it and came out of it a better person. But you guys, that is literally a point proven and if they could do it, so can you. These books also carry so many statistics that show you that these people are actually doing these things and it's helping them. These books always help me stay positive and keep a positive attitude and also helps me on a day-to-day -day routine. Benefits of a clean environment. I used to be so dirty and trust me, I understand. You might have a mess here and there. Being in a clean environment helps you sleep, it increases your productivity, it reduces your stress, it improves your mood, it makes you happy. It's literally a boost of confidence. I don't know about you guys, but when my space is clean, I always feel so confident and productive and ready to take on the rest of my day. It helps you stay focused and creates positive behaviors, even how you interact with others. And being in a clean environment overall is better for our health. It's not gonna take away your day. Just go and clean up that room, okay? Don't worry, we've all been there. I've been there. You guys saw the state of my room in the beginning of this video, and there's no shame in that. We all get dirty rooms. As long as you stay on top of your cleanliness is all that matters. Self-care is my favorite topic. I love self-care, and if you don't do self-care, what are you doing? Self-care is so important. It helps us stay connected to ourselves, and I don't know about you guys, but it definitely makes me feel better after a slump. It's really you showing yourself love, compassion, and just being there for yourself in general. And in this world that we live in, we really can't be trusting people to be giving that to us. So it's so important for us to be incorporating that into our routines, even if it's just once every two weeks or three weeks or four weeks or every month or every two months, who knows? It has so many benefits, like enhancing our well-being, it manages our stress, it helps us prevent burnouts and show up as our best self. Self-care has such a long list on benefits. And honestly, I don't know where I would be if it wouldn't have been for self-care because she has brought me a long way. Lastly, the importance of consistency in small habits. We might not see it now when we start, but keeping up with small habits every day can change your life in a year or two or 10 years from now. I personally haven't tried doing something big, but I've realized how much small habits can impact your life in the long run. Creating small habits for yourself every day is going to help you reach those goals that you're setting for yourself. The last and final thing that I wanted to do for myself in my mid-year reset was to go over my vision board and all my goals that I set for myself this year and try and rearrange it a little bit not change them completely I would say I did a pretty good job on my vision board and my goals list so I didn't really make too many changes those are all the tips that I have for you guys today I wish I had some more because you know I love giving out some tips I don't like to gatekeep I hope you guys enjoyed my mid-year reset and are motivated to do so yourself I also hope I gave you guys good tips to help you execute your mid-year reset and also reach those goals that you've been setting for yourself because I promise you you can do it okay thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye!